Press out! Press air to her! There you go! Keep it going! There you go! They are a small town team with big time talent, and with the schedule that La Habra has this season, they can prove that they are not just the best team in the Freeway League in the CIF Southwest Division, but also one of the elite programs in the entire Southern section as well. Orange Lutheran and defending D2 state champion Servite are getting ready to face the Highlanders this fall. Beating those two teams isn't going to be easy though, especially since the Highlanders have to replace this guy, Josh Quezada. They lost a talented running back to graduation, and last season he averaged 7.6 yards per carry, 162.6 yards per game, and scored 24 touchdowns to help La Habra claim its third consecutive section title. Ahmad Avery will be the featured back for the Highlanders this year, and he can already feel the pressure trying to take over for the third-ranked rusher in the county last season. It's a, it's a big role. For him to have the impact that he did last year, and for him to not be here, it's kind of, kind of has a lot big shoes to fill for me, so I'm going to do my best to fill them. Well, one thing's for sure, he's well prepared for the challenge. See, he learned a thing or two from watching Kezada shred opposing defenses last season. Um, I, I learned a lot about how the offense works and, and, and a lot where, where the holes are going to be. And he kind of, Joshua, kind of showed the team a lot of maturity, so I kind of learned that a lot from him. He, he, he always told me about patience, and especially the offense that we run. The holes might not, might not always develop in time, so when, when he'd be teaching me, he'd, he'd teach me to not, not always to run like full speed and just to wait for things to open up. But Avery knows he doesn't have to go it alone this year. He's got one teammate, Cody Clements, who's one of the top quarterbacks in the county, and then there's Brett Bartolone, a 1,000-yard receiver last year. That takes actually a, little, a lot of pressure off me, yes. Knowing that we have an excellent quarterback who can throw the ball and an excellent receiver who can run and catch, it kind of takes a lot, of, a lot of the pressure off my shoulders knowing that I don't have to feel as much of a role because they, they're growing as well and they're returning. Yeah, the Highlanders lost a big part of their offense. Clemens knows that. But the senior quarterback still thinks his team is going to have one explosive offense, one that might even be a bit harder to predict at times. Um, I think we'll be a little more equal on the run and pass this year, definitely. Uh, kind of be unexpected. Some games last year would be like really heavy on Josh and then I'd throw a few, but uh, I think we'll be a lot uh, more balanced this year between our two new running backs. But Josh, we knew third downs, big third downs, you give it to him, he's going to pick it up. That's just kind of the player that he was. We'll be equal. We got two great running backs and a great offensive line coming back for us. And Cody, you know, he could throw the ball as well, so we'll, we'll be equal. Now some of the Highlanders Freeway League rivals have said that La Habra has a swagger about them, a cocky arrogance. They all agree, though, that the Highlanders have earned that right. They are, after all, a three-time defending CIF champion. And you know what? These rivals are right. La Habra is a confident bunch. We come, in, we come in, in confident because we know that during the week we, we practice so hard that we know that we're going to do our best during game time, so we're really confident in that aspect of it. Last year, the Highlanders' stats looked like they came right off of a PlayStation, but can this team continue its run of dominance? Can Bartoloni post another 1,000-yard receiving season? No problem, he says. Well, Cody, Cody, he could throw the ball. I know he'd get it to me wherever I am on the field, so you know, as long as we put time in at practice and as long as the offensive line can give them time back there, which I know they will, uh, we should have no problem doing it again.